Is there any kind of community benefit to women doing sports? Um, I and especially like more aggressive sports, like, like, um, because you do martial arts, yeah. right? Yeah. So like, is there like... Well, I got into combat sports mainly because there is this negative um, connotation with women doing combat sports. And I really just want to show that when, just because you're a woman doesn't mean that you can't be tough, that you can't be fit, that you can't be, you know, aggressive. Right. On a community or societal level, like what what do you think women playing sports or women even like like this is a flag football with with uh, you know co-ed? Do you think that that makes a difference or? I think it, it does make a difference. First, you, you get your your stereotype how women can't play. Like last week, I was picked last. <laughs> oh, and you're like the best player here. <laughs> and and this this I don't. I like the fact that women can play sports. Like, it brings seven because there's a lot of athletic women out there, a lot of like me, tomboys that like to play sports. So to get the opportunity to play any sport now is great. It's a lot of exercise. It's no money, you know. It, um, society-wise, it's. It's something really big because a lot of people don't think women can do anything. So if women be able to play a constant sport, that's actually pretty good. And to be able to be good yeah, at it, we're for you. that makes it even better. <laughs> one of two or three women that ran sports programs because they had one in London, you know, you had Army and Air Force, so you had Milden Hall, you had Aviano, in, you had Turkey and all these places and I, I ran the largest sports program in Europe. It was like 40,000 people. Wow, cool. So it, I had to, because I loved my job, I stayed in it, but really it was some struggles because the men made it so difficult to like, to just get work done because you had to explain yourself to them because they didn't believe that you knew. But but when I left, uh, it, I, I could tell people miss me. Even now, my coworkers are like, oh, we miss you. You know, no one knows what they're doing. And so that was really nice to, to justify, oh, I'm a woman and I can still run an adult sports program for 40,000 people, a whole military community. So I was like, yeah, women can do it. And something that really boosts self-esteem and as you grow into a womanhood um, that you can look to is something to be proud of.